said, uh, one of the preachers said it on last night. God said, we got to come out the closet. And church folks been in the closet too long. See, we love to look and identify and call out stuff. But what about that stuff that you think folks can't see? See, God got some real mothers that know how to pray. God got some real preachers that can see beyond your flesh and see your mess. They can look past your long skirt. They can look past you not wearing no makeup and see your messed up heart and your messed up mind. Thank you. It ain't the clothes you wear that gonna make you go to heaven. It's not that you don't wear makeup. God said you gotta have a pure heart, a heart to love his people. Didn't he, Peter? Peter, lovest thou me? Uh, <sighs> yeah, God, you know I do. Uh, Feed my sheep. We had to ask Peter the same question two or three times because he knows some of us just like Peter. But Lord, I love you. And you couldn't care less whether a person get delivered or not. Uh, just come on in, pay your tithes, and leave your money. You can go home messed up and uh, No more hidden identity. Preacher can't hide. Reacher can't hide. The teacher can't hide. The prophet can't hide. The evangelist can't hide. The pastors can't hide. The ministers can't hide. The missionaries can't hide. The sisters can't hide. The brothers can't hide. And guess what? Now even the children can't hide. You gotta walk into what God has called you to be. The Bible said when I was a child, I did as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Some of y'all ain't children no more. Why are you acting like children? Why are you doing childish stuff? God said, put it away. The children acting like grown folks, and the grown folks acting like children. The children telling the parents what to do, and the parents asking the children, what should I do? What kind of generation are we living in now? Amen. Children run the house. I'm short, but I still try to knock mine out. You can, you know, they take the parents to court and divorce them. All kind of dumb stuff that's going on now. If you hit them too hard, it's child abuse. Well, good God, back in the day, they hit us with a fan belt, a peach tree, not the limb. They just snatched the whole peach tree. And call the police if you want to. They know not to go down Cherry, Black, Cherry something avenue. Oh, no. And then we wonder why our children are locked up in jail. Because we fail to discipline, spare the rod, spoil the child. <clears throat> what they are staking behind. Because if you don't, they're going to bring you to shame. Yes. And we want to hide it. You know, they had a saying one time, preachers and teachers got the worst children of all. That ought not to be so. I don't know about the teachers, but the preachers ought to be in better shape. We ought to be in better shape with our children. Yes. Yes, Lord. They're doing some of everything. Because there's a hidden identity. And because if mama and daddy don't stand up and, and, and show them who they're supposed to be, then when our children grow up and go out there, if we've been faking it, then when they grow up, they think it's all right to fake it too. We set the example for them. Even in the house of God, sometimes you don't know these little babies may be looking up to you. What kind of example are we setting for them? If you see a mother in the church, you expect to find love. You don't expect no old mean, bitter mama. Some of these mothers is a mess. Nasty, stinking attitude. You're supposed to be the one when the mama can't see about the baby. You ought to go over there and be so anointed. You just rub the baby and lay their head down and go to sleep. Ain't nobody anointed like that no more. Then you be saying, you need to get that baby. They too bad. What's wrong with her child? Oh, so-and-so child is a mess. The children is a mess called the folks in the church that they looking at is a mess. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Y'all help me out. Nobody else ain't gonna talk to me tonight. But that's all right. They don't want to talk to me, Mama. They want me to hurry up and sit down. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm in the house. Let's see, y'all ain't caught on yet. Been going to church for 30 or 40 years. You don't know that when you get quiet, that's when the preacher knows she's stepping on your toes. Yeah, that's right. So it's quiet up in here, I must be in somebody's house. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, that's right.